Hi, I'm Chris from Budget Shipping Containers and in this video we're going to show you our flat pack insulation kits. These insulation kits are usually used to help prevent condensation build up inside your container and if you're storing fabrics, textiles, food, electronics, stock to go out to a shop, anything along those lines, you may want to consider an insulation kit inside your container to prevent moisture or water damage to your goods. We've got a lot of background information on this in one of our articles which we've linked in the bio for this video. First thing to mention is we've got two major kit options here. The standard option that we offer is the cheaper basic option. This will totally remove any condensation buildup inside your container. This basic kit is 4 mil thick. It performs similarly to 55 mil of polystyrene. It's tough stuff, you're not easily going to rip or tear it. It's got aluminium foil both sides that helps reflect the heat and inside you've got lots of air bubbles trapped as well that helps provide extra insulation. We also have a premium option, the Eco Quilt. This is a little bit thicker and will perform a little bit better. This we recommend if you want to limit the temperature fluctuations inside your container or if you want a VIP level of insulation. Both of these kits come with and without a floor panel option. And again, if you're just protecting against condensation, we say you don't need the floor panel. If, however, you want to limit temperature fluctuations, the floor panel might be an option you want to look at. Now we've chosen the kit option that's going to be best for you, you're going to need to fit it. All you're going to need is a broom, a decent set of scissors or a Stanley knife and a helper. So fitting your insulation kit, you want to start with one of the wall pieces first and this is going to run from the middle of the back of your container, across the back, down the sides, it's even going to cover most of the inside of your door for you. Looking at your kit, you can see it's not quite big enough at the moment. You've got your industrial sticky back plastic strips on the back. You do have a fold here as well with some more sticky back plastic on. So we're just going to unfold it. I'm going to ask our helper to just hold this into position whilst I just push this along all the panels down the side of the container. So now we've got this first panel fitted. You can see we haven't pushed these side panels into all of the outer corrugations. You want to leave these as flat as possible. If you trap air behind it, it's only going to help this perform even better. The other thing to note, you'll see a little bit of overlap along the top. If you want to tidy it up, you can just take a set of scissors or a Stanley knife and cut it back. We're going to leave this in place. If you have a little bit of an overlap going onto the roof, an extra layer of insulation is only going to help it work even better. And for the second panel, we're just going to do exactly the same again on the other side. Now we've got the sides and the back done, next up is the roof panel. Much the same process, but this is where the broom comes in. I'm going to use the broom to help push the kit up against the metal on the roof. It's just much easier to use a broom to push yourself all the way along the corrugations. So, now we've got all the side panels fitted, we're going to use this high performance thermal tape and we're going to seam up all the seams between each of the panels. Again, it's dead easy, sticky back plastic finish on the back. So we're just going to cut and fit. Right, and once you've taped up the, uh, all the seams, you're pretty much done. Right, this final panel to do is the inside of the door. It's a little bit more fiddly than the rest, but still pretty straightforward. As you can see, we've got our side panel sheets coming down the side and overlapping, coming just over halfway across the door. All we're going to do here is physically cut out half of the door shape from this panel. We're going to do exactly the same over here as well. We're obviously going to stick the spare bits of panel to the inside of the door and any of the seams that we've cut we're going to use our thermal tape just to make sure that the edges are seamed up nicely. The other thing to mention, don't worry about leaving a centimetre or so gap in your cuts to allow for the door to open nice and easily. It's not going to make any appreciable difference to the performance of the kit. So really, nice and simple, just going to feed this across, make sure it's where we want it to be. And I'm going to cut just above the door line So now 
we've cut out the door frame and fitted that, we've got two of these pieces left and we're literally going to cut this down to size. We're going to use a thermal tape to seam up the edges where we've cut and then we're just going to literally stick this to the inside of the door. So here's our door cutouts, one of two. As you can see, just smaller than the door itself. Uh, so we're going to stick this up, we're going to tape around the edges. So the final sheet, I'm just going to hold this up. Kils is going to cut around the door handles and the locks, then we're going to stick this one down as well. And the final bit, once again, we're just going to use the thermal tape. We're going to go around all the edges and seams, make sure it's all seamed up. There we have it. Now we're all taped up. Our flat pack storage container is fully insulated and ready to go. Thanks very much for watching this how to build video. Please feel free to check out our others.